Hello world, if you had to ask yourself, Ted, what is your favorite Game Boy game? I hope that, without a doubt, you'd say, quote, I'm not Ted, end quote. But if you're me, you'd answer very differently by saying, quote, thanks for asking me, Ted, for my opinion. I'm not sure it's an easy question to answer, but I sure do have one that comes to mind, and that game is Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, end quote. Wow, friends, what a game. It's hard to undersell how amazing these kinds of Mario games are, especially for a kid. There's an endless amount of wonder, not knowing where all the secrets are hiding, not knowing what wonderful worlds are coming next, but you also know that even if you slip and fall, you are always safe. You can get right back up. The stages and all their strange and surprising twists and turns might get difficult, but you as Mario, will always be able to deal with your simple movement kit. I remember that my great aunt owned a Game Boy, and this was her only game. One summer, when I wanted to raise money to buy a PlayStation 2, I did some odd jobs for her, like cutting her lawn and helping with her computer. Sometimes, when she had to go into town, she would also have me keep her husband company. He had fairly progressed Alzheimer's and couldn't communicate well. I wasn't required to give any special care, and I, as a child, could not have uneasily understood such needs. My great aunt just felt more comfortable having someone at the home when she was away, just in case. On days when I was doing this sort of work, I would often play Game Boy while my great uncle watched television. We didn't speak much because we could not understand one another. One day, I remember that he began to yell. He screamed, quote, I know what you're doing here, end quote, and focused every bit of hatred left into his clouded eyes and continued to scream, though I don't remember much of the details. I do remember that his cruel words were set to the bumping tunes of Super Mario Land, and that I avoided the telephone calls of my great aunt after that day and never returned to her house. Even though I knew that my great uncle did not mean the things he yelled, I knew that he was much bigger than I was. I also knew that I did everything possible in my own home to avoid being yelled at by people who were bigger than me. I could not run away from such people at home, but I certainly did not have to go put myself in the crossfire of my great uncle. A couple years later, I did manage to scrounge up the money to buy a PlayStation 2 so I could borrow Devil May Cry and Kingdom Hearts from my friends and enter whole new magical worlds of entertainment. But I never got the chance to beat Super Mario Land, not for many years. Today, I want to share a secret tip that will help you out in this daunting task so that even if you cannot escape from the frightening things in your life, you can survive them, and it might even help you to do so if you can reach the end of the musical adventure Super Mario Land. Most of us wouldn't even think of going anywhere near a sewage pipe unless we had to for our respective employments, but where Super Mario Land will strike you strange is that it's actually in your best interest to dive down into available pipes. Many people don't know this, but Mario is a plumber and understands the necessary safety requirements for entering public waste facilities. 
down inside them, he can find a number of coins that have been accidentally flushed or discarded near water drains. In this instance, cleaning up will do wonders for you and the world, because every 100 coins give you another life up. You need all the life ups you can get to beat Bowser and his minions. Thank you for doing a click on one of my videos. Please also, if you can, click the comment like button to subscribe to my channel so that I know in my heart that you want more video contents. And remember, quote, There is no shame in doing less than surviving. If you are free to do more, you are not obligated, except to your own heart, which is deserving of caring for and nothing more." End quote. Thank you.